Hello and welcome back to the fourth installment of my playthrough of Little Big Adventure. Let's jump straight into the game. Last time, let's see, what did we do? We joined the rebels and we went to the Hamalai Mountains. Um, I think we eventually... Uh, didn't we help to... Let, let me think. This is loud. Yeah. I think we saved some kind of... Uh, army rebellion leader colonel guy and then we continued on and encountered a rebby bunny village i believe which was attacked by mutants and they asked us to clear out the the mutant factory and we were doing that but we got caught so we're once again in prison, which seems to be a recurring thing in this game. Uh, yeah, let's let's pick it up from here. Do you prefer to die in an empty stomach, or do you want something special for your last meal? Uh, yeah, this is a bit silly because he just opens the door, so... He doesn't even really defend himself, and we got a key out of it. Now... Next in our in the next cell, let's let's wait one second. Hey, get me out of here! Find a key quick. Yeah, I I bet that's the key we just got. But before we go save that guy, I think this cabinet. You've just rediscovered all the objects in your inventory. Exactly, that's typically how these prisons work in this game. So now we've got all our stuff back, which is good. Um, we are doing all right. Four lives, full everything. S 46 coins, which, well, it's not a lot, but it's not terribly low either. So, yeah, all in all. Yeah, the key. I am Raymond the Elf. To show my gratitude, I will indicate the location of the Clearwater Lake to you. It is to the northwest in the Hamalai Mountains. Look on your hollow map. If you play the flute there, you will find an important element of the prophecy. And if you have a membership card you can show me, I have something else for you. Right. So this is another um, guide or, yeah, I, I think the game really wants us to go to this Clearwater Lake and play the flute there. It's been into that several times by now. So this is another point where the game is trying to be helpful so i mean this game isn't overly helpful but you know it's not as bad as people make it out uh we do have a membership card because we got it from jody elf so let's show it to him oh maybe not from this distance there we go and he gives us three lives well that's nice does he say anything else good day Raymond the Elf to show my No, that's the same same message as before. All right. So, I think where we are right now, yeah, this is to the right, to the bottom right, that's the button um that was pressed which got us into jail in the first place. Let's just avoid that for now and go downstairs because there was this subway thing there. Let's see if we can work that somehow. Find some loot on the way, that's always good. Right. Ooh, another cutscene. It seems we're crossing into the Northern Hemisphere now. And where are we? Okay, some kind of facility again. Lots of guards. Let's... Let's be careful, but... This does seem intriguing. I'll go into discreet mode just to be sure. Okay, I think we can take out this guy. 
Yeah, this should be doable. Now, maybe? Mm, too early. <laughs> too late. <laughs> maybe on the way back? Oh. Yeah, aiming is really difficult in this game. It's one of the many problems. Um, Let's just try again. That's better. Oh, and it's a one kill, one shot. Okay, that's lenient. More, more clone sounds in the distance. Okay. Uh, I think we can just do the same thing with him. Just have to time it right. It's a really small walk cycle. There we go. There we go. A lot more hit points, this guy. But we got him. Perfect. Okay. So, I guess this is the mutant factory, because, yeah, it looks like they're putting mutants together here, doesn't it? Let's see. Oh, <laughs> all right. I didn't fully intend to do that, but that was actually a pretty good shot. <laughs> um... Yeah, that's what I am trying to do. Because the the bunnies in the village, they told us to take out the... Um, well, I'm not sure, actually. I think they mentioned taking out the eggs, but these don't look like eggs. So... I guess it still doesn't hurt to do this. Okay. I really want to try to get as far as I can now in this session because, well, oh, what is he up to? Okay. He just pressed this button. Yeah, okay. So I guess press the other buttons as well then? Seems to make sense. I think I think we've made it pretty far into the game. I mean, we're heading onto the Northern Hemisphere now and we're in Funfrox facilities causing mayhem. So this is quite, we've made it quite far from, you know, our miserable position that we were in at the beginning. Okay. What's this? Okay, a mutant is chasing us. Uh, can he go up the stairs? No, he can't. All right, all right. Still no eggs. You've just replenished some of your gas supply. Hmm, all right. But yeah, I feel, I feel we've made good progress and I just think if we push on, then we can get really far into the game this time round. Maybe all the way to the end, I don't know. But I'm gonna try anyway. Good day. Leave me alone. I've got work to do and no time to play. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Okay. Ah, oh, there's a buggy. But I don't feel I've explored the whole facility yet, so let's just keep that in mind for now. There's a... Oh, this is dangerous. All right. Ooh. 
Ooh, that was really close. Damn. There we go. What's up here? Hmm, not a whole lot. Okay. Oh, this is... is this... are we back at the beginning now? I think so. Yeah, this is where we got off, wasn't it? Yeah. Okay. I think if we just get behind, like, between the guy and the button, then he can't really do anything. Yeah. No need to... No need to throw the ball, like, 20 times. Okay. So now we're back where the mutants were on the table. Oh, the doctor is here again. Mm. Last time we went up here, but... I think I saw from down there that you can also... Yeah, you can also go up here. So maybe this is where the eggs are. Uh, 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 uh. You can just see the foot of a guy at the top there. Makes me very suspicious that he's right next to a button. I mean, that's just the sense I get from the game. From like how this game is designed. Yeah, that's what I thought. Right. He's right next besides a button. Let's see if we can take him out. I think we can do the same trick again if we just run and make sure we're between him and the button. That's really the safest position. So, like this, and now attack, yeah. There you go. This is really the pro strategy. <laughs> it's no problem with uh, with a one hit point guy, but you can't know... Um, I mean, if you if you start throwing the ball from a distance and, and it's a one-hit kill, then it's fine. But you can't know in advance if that's the case. And if he starts running for the button, I think you're most likely to be dead. So, anyway, are these the eggs? Looks like it, doesn't it? They're bouncing eggs? Maybe? Like... Alive eggs? Uh, how do I kill this last one? Oh, not like this. No. I think that I may be closer. Yeah? Ah! Uh, oh, wow! The whole screen turned red. I think the screen turning red was an indication that we have um like cleared our objective or you know i think i think we've done the thing we were supposed to do here now all right so Maybe we should go to the button now, or to the buggy now. Kill this guy again. Huh. He does manage to close the door, but we can just open it from this. Yeah. No problemo. And there was, there was the mutant down here. It's, is he really just hidden from sight? 
Is that how the game designers... He was, he was down there, wasn't he? But you can't see him now. The, yeah, this game is evil like that for sure. So last time we just managed to dodge him. Maybe we can do that again. Yeah. Oh, and there's a friend now. All right, let's... Where do you want to go? <laughs> let's just get out of here. To the Rabby Bunny Village. To the Rabby Bunny Village. Is that all the way over there? I don't feel that makes sense, to be honest, but... All right, doesn't matter. So, let's see. We're now back where we were before in the village, I think. And before it was, um, it, there were a lot of mutants here, but they seem to be gone now. So. Good day. Good day. Good day. Just. Huh. Thank you. Don't mind if I do. Oh, there's a guy. These are really massive carrots. Good day. Did you know that there is a clear water lake very near here? It is located close to the door of the sacred carrot. And it has a close connection with a prophecy. Right. They mentioned this door of the sacred carrot last time. And they told us they would open it if we cleared out the mutants from the factory. So I think they should do that. Hey, you! Don't touch our kid! Oh, <laughs> it's you! Good work! You have disabled the mutant factory. No more new monsters are being produced. By the way, what is your name, brave stranger? Twinson. Twinson. And now, brave stranger Twinson... Follow me to the door of the sacred carrot. Exactly. This is perfect. And I think um, this also opens the way to the northern hemisphere. Carrot open up. <laughs> and he just unlocks it. <laughs> All right, so it's a magic door, but it's also just a lock and a key. Okay. Pretty sure this is the... Yeah, I think we're now on the border of the Northern Hemisphere. So that's, that's kind of exciting. I mean, there's the whole half of this planet that we have not explored so far, so... Uh, okay. I do like this this snow crunchy sound as you walk through it. Doesn't it's really good. All the all the footstep sounds in this game are on point. <laughs> One of the big pros of this game. Okay. So They did say it was to the northwest of the door, didn't they? Oh, there's a... Oh. All right. This doesn't look like the clear water lake to me. Oh god. Uh-huh. Hmm. Oh, 
shit. How do how do we get him from down here? Huh? Can we throw up the stairs? No. Maybe just run up to him. Yeah. This is the way to do it. For sure. Alright. More guards. This place is heavily guarded. I don't even know what it is, to be honest. Okay, that's one down. Let's grab the coin real quick. Okay, nobody here. There is the one other guard that was patrolling, yeah. There we go. Is that all? Looks like it. <laughs> Alright. Can we go in any of these doors? No. What's up here? Mm hmm. Not a whole lot. Some magic. Uh. Yeah, we can't. We can't throw that far. No way. I, st I still don't know how to go downstairs. I don't even know if it's possible, to be honest. Oh, look at this. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I think we can just make a dash for it. Ah, yeah. So that's open because we got the blue pass? Wasn't that the elf pass? I mean... Is this related to the elf club? That seems really weird. But okay. I guess it's just a way um, that that you don't make it this far until you've done other things in the game. Like to ensure you have a certain level of magic and to make sure that, yeah, you're not just running towards the end while missing half the plot. Still no sign of the clear water lake though. Should be it should be somewhere here for sure, right? I mean Okay, there's a red guard. Falling down again. <laughs> because I don't know how else to do it. Mm-hmm. We can't actually see him, but we can see that he's... Oh. There he is. Right. Nailed it. Ooh, ten coins. That's nice. Okay, uh, there's a cool little hovercraft, or what is it? One of those swamp boats. So that's cool, but there's also a passage here. So maybe check that out first. <laughs> okay. So... There's not a whole lot here, it seems. But I am wondering if this is the fabled Clearwater Lake, perhaps. I think it might be. Let's look at our map. Yeah, we're right on top of it. So, yeah, it's set to play our flute here. Um, let's see. Magic flute. The enchanted melodies produced by this instrument can melt frozen... Oh, yeah. <laughs> ah, there we go. I wanted to advance the text, but I, by accident, um, enabled, like, 
activated the, fla- the, the, the flute. So it melts the frozen water. You've just earned the fourth level of magic by filling up your flask with clear water. Right. Let's see. Flask of clear water. With this magical symbol, you have just earned the fourth level of power. All right. Ah, yeah, we have a full, uh, a full magic bar now, and I'm guessing our ball has changed color again. Yeah. Look at this. It's now a what is it? A flame, flame ball. So yeah. Ultimate power. I guess that means we can now kill uh, just about everyone. So, that seems good. Where do you want to go? Huh. Okay, this is interesting. Because I don't think any of these places have been mentioned. Tippet Island, Brundle Island. Oh, the, those are the only choices. Uh, no idea? The, 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 the first one, I suppose? To Tippet Island. I guess we'll just have to explore and, and see what's what. Eventually, our goal is to find a rune stone. Because we were told about three runic stones. Two of them were on Proxima Island. But the third is on this side of the planet. So that's eventually what we should be looking for. Ah, yes. I think now we've made it to the sewer that I mentioned earlier, which is a part of the game I do remember. So, yeah, now now we're back on track in my mind. Hey, ma'am, your hydro glider is great, but you won't make it to Fortress Island or Polar Island with it. Hey, <laughs> they are isolated by the currents. No ship can find them. You need a dino fly to go there, man. Right, a dino fly. Yeah, um, wasn't that also in your dream at the beginning of the game and also in some of the promotional art? And yeah, I think often Twinson is displayed on top of a dino, like flying a, a green dragon dino thing. So I guess this is the point where that comes in. Um, can't go down there. He looks... Kind of dangerous, but also not. He's like in between hostile and, and friendly, so... I guess... I guess he's not approaching us, so... Yeah, let's see if we can talk to him. Good day. We can. Our day is so cold that we come here. It's the only place where we can put these blasted filberts out. I'm here for business only. I can tell you information about anything. See you later. All right. So it's like a stormtrooper with his helmet off. It's, uh, yeah. He still has the robot voice. That's cool. So I guess... I guess this is what a clone looks like underneath the helmet. Just like a normal elephant guy, really. Um, He can sell us information. Okay, but currently... We don't really know what's going on, so let's just explore a little bit further and I'm sure it will all click into place. Ah, who's up there? Now that's a cool looking guy. Hello. Good day. <laughs> I know this hemisphere very well. <laughs> For ten cases. <laughs> I'll tell you what Funfrock is conducting here. All right. Um, yeah, let's let's do that. Actually, we can use some information at this point because, yeah, we don't have a super clear objective, really. So let's see what this guy has to say. Sold. So, <laughs> which one of Funfrock's factories do you want information about? Okay. The Mutant Factory... We did visit that place, and I think we cleared it out. So the teleportation center, we don't know a lot about that. And the cloning center, we know 
nothing about that either. So let's let's ask about those. The teleportation center. It is located on Brundle Island. Hmm. From there, Funfrux cohorts control all the planet's teleportations. The entrance is guarded, but they will let you in if you act like one of them. Act like one of them. All right. Good day. Good day. <laughs> I know this <laughs> hemisphere very well. <laughs> For ten casses, I'll tell you what Sunfrog is conducting here. Sold! So, <laughs> okay. which one of Funfrock's factories do you want information about? So it's 10 caches per thing. That's 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 a bit steeper, but yeah. Okay, we have the money. I mean, I guess we don't really have anything else to spend it on, so sure. Um, okay, the teleportation center was on Brundle Island, and you can get in if you act like one of them. That's good information. What about the cloning center? The cloning center. The center, where all the planet's clones are produced, is inside Funfrock's fortress. Hmm. It's his headquarters when he is in this hemisphere. Be careful, because I heard that he is working on some very special clones. It's on Fortress Island. Right. That makes sense, that his fortress is on Fortress Island. Okay. We have 45 caches. I mean, I guess we can ask him about the mutant factory okay. as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know this hemisphere very well. <laughs> oh, you can't skip this. For 10 <laughs> caches, I'll tell you what Funfrock is conducting here. Sold! All no. right. <laughs> Which one of Funfrock's factories do you want information about? The mutant factory. Huh. Funfrock cleared out the populations from this hemisphere, but there are still a few people that resist, like here in Funky Town. Funky Town? He produces mutant insects in his factory at the foot of the Himalayan mountains to exterminate us. The factory was supposedly sabotaged. But there are still monsters in the sewers. They were produced before the sabotage. Sabotage. You can jump on the giant crabs. You can jump on the giant crabs. That seems like a good hint. All right. Okay, okay. So... Do we have... Yeah, we have more places marked on our map now. So the cloning center and fortress is on Fortress Island. That's also where the runic stone is. Okay. And then there's the teleportation center on Brundle Island. Right. And right now we're on Tippet Island. Okay. This guy's just fishing in the sewer. As you do. Catch anything? I'm trying to find my bracelet. Hmm. Hold on. I've got something. Right. Well, thank you. So, we got a key. What's the key for, though? <laughs> is it for this? It is for this. Right. Let's see what the sign says. LBA. Funky Town Sewer Service. Swindler Street. Swindler Street. Hmm. Okay. I think I do remember this. Let's see. 
Yeah, those guys are up to no good, I can tell you. Uh... Do they say anything? What happens? I'm scared, but I don't... They're not doing anything. I just remember this is bad. Uh... Ah... Uh, ah, they are just dropping us. Okay. Oh. No, no, no. Oh, this is very bad. Ah, I can just fight them like this. Yeah, this is cool. Cool. Very nice. Yeah, just kick their butts. As Twinson does, really. I mean, we've been doing that the whole game, pretty much. And I think we got 20 caches out of it. Which, I suppose, is from people they robbed earlier, so... Yeah. Oh, wow. We're almost dead. Huh. Yeah. This is what I remember. This is... When I said there was a disco in the sewer, this is what I meant. This is... I mean, this is still pretty cool, but this was really cool to me when I played this first when I was 12 years old. I mean, look at the big speakers. Everyone's just... Hmm, not a lot's going on, actually. Let's see. Can we talk to anyone? Good day. Those guys on stage are fabulous! But it's too bad that they don't play anything. Yeah. Exactly. Okay, can't talk to them. They're also just static. They're just not animated. They're just standing there. That guy is animated, though. I think that indicates that more is going on with him. Good day. Yeah. Did you know that there is a means of getting to Fortress Island in my basement? Hmm. I'll let you in there if you improve the quality of the show. The atmosphere is terrible nowadays. The patrons are bummed out. Right. So, if I can improve the show, he will let me into his basement. And in the basement is a means to get to Fortress Island. That seems like a good deal. Can we talk to the drummer? No. It's a bit awkward walking up to the onto the stage like this, but all right. Good day. Ah, we can talk to this guy. Uh, uh our group is sort of lacking. We don't have half the material we need, and we're eight hit songs short of an album. <laughs> I'm begging you, find a guitar for me. Oh, he doesn't have his guitar. All right. And something popped up on the hollow map, which is... <laughs> Always the last one. Yeah, this is the White Leaf Desert again. Because he said he would give us his guitar if we gave him the flute. But we needed to play it first at the Clearwater Lake, which we've done now. So... I suppose it's just a matter of getting back to the White Leaf Desert and fetching the guitar for him. So... This seems like our way forward now. The way forward is actually quite a long way back. <laughs> because we have to travel off the world to get there, but... Yeah. People people complain about the backtracking in this game, and I've, I, I do feel it's fair. I mean, nobody really likes to go back to a place where they've been before, but... Yeah. I don't know, I don't mind it personally as much. Because, well, when you start the game, it's um, you're really weak and, and you're scared of everything and it's all very daunting. But by now, uh, we know where things are, we, we have quite a lot of magic power, so... I don't know, I, I feel it's kind of cool to go back to these places and, yeah, just be really powerful now, all of a sudden. LBA, Funky Town Sewer Service.
Okay. Uh, how are we doing in terms of petrol, though? Uh, that's not here. That's here. We have four petrol. That's not a whole lot. This doesn't open, does it? <laughs> oh, maybe... We didn't go up here, did we? Yeah. There we go. Good day. If you like an item, move in front of it and use the action command. <laughs> Another store is exactly what we needed because... Gas for 10 voyages costs 40 caches. 40 caches? Do we have that kind of money? I think we do. Maybe? Let's try. Sold! You've just replenished some of your gas supply. Yeah, we totally do. Okay. And now we have 14. So I think that is quite... Well, it's, it's enough fuel for now for sure. Maybe it's enough fuel for the rest of the game, to be honest. All right. So... Uh... Yeah, let's... Where do you want to go? Let's head back. To the Himalayi Mountains. Try to get that guitar. We have not explored Brundle Island yet, which is where the uh, teleportation center was, I believe. Um, they did say something about acting like one of them in order to get access. I just don't know if we can already do that now. I'm pretty sure we can't. So I guess that means we'll just go there later. Let's let's sort this guitar business out first. And let's see if we can find the way back actually. This is the Rebibani village. Good day. It's so much calmer since you've come. Do you really have to leave? Ah, uh, yeah, I'm afraid I do. I have a guitar to fetch. Um. Good day. Good day. Perfect. So, we're quite low on health, but we do have full lives. So, I think if we go over here and take one of the clover leaves. Yeah, now we have eaten one of the clover leaves and we're back at full health. And now we pick up the clover leaf and we're at full lives again. So, that's a good trick. Um, How do we go back, though? Was it here? Ah, this is the ski... The ski area thing. Oh, no. Uh, <laughs> okay. Go down, I suppose. Ah, uh, I think we can take the ski lift all the way up. Yeah. Can you tell this is a 90s game? <laughs> okay, so now we're up here. But we can't actually leave here. Huh. Okay. So, this is not the exit, I suppose. No. Let's see, what else? Is there another exit? 
Over here, maybe? Oh. Nope. Okay. What is this area for, really? I don't really get it. I mean, is it just to show that snowboarding is cool? Is that the whole point of this screen? Because that's what it seems to be. Now we're back to the village. <laughs> okay. We could go down that hole and then end up at the subway station again. Maybe, maybe we can get back from there actually. Uh, hey, it's the elf guy again. Oh, thank you. Oh, there's a guard down there. Can we kill him from here? Maybe. Not like that. Hmm. I don't know. Doesn't seem worth it, to be honest. Yeah, I think... I think this is the way back. Because the, um, the transitions have these sharp edges. While some other... Oh! Uh, guards are aware of me. Yeah. Sometimes there are these jagged edges, which I think show the... E like the actual end of a map, but sometimes there's a straight edge, which I think shows that it continues in the next screen, so... Okay. All right. We can't actually get up there, I think. Is this the landing site where we landed with the rebellion? I think it is. Yeah, I think it is. Yeah, there's a rebellion guy again. Good day. You're a real hero, Twinson. <laughs> well, uh, I mean, thanks for freeing Colonel Kropman. <laughs> well, uh, my pleasure. It is a bit weird how we never really um, joined again with the rebels after freeing Colonel Kropman. It's just, yeah, we just went our ways after that, which, I don't know. Um, but actually, this is our catamaran, so... Where do you want to go? Yeah, we can now sail the whole southern hemisphere again. Um... So the White, Le we White Leaf Desert is where we can get the guitar? Yeah. To White Leaf Desert. None of the other places really make much, much sense at this point, so... Let's let's just try to make progress. That's that's my aim for today. We still have the pirate flag up, which I'm not sure if that's a problem in other areas. It was required for the rebellion island to show our good intentions. Well, good. <laughs> but yeah. 
I don't know if it's smart to sail around like that with Fun Frog still in power and all, but uh, I guess we're a wanted criminal anyway, so maybe it doesn't really matter. There we are, back at our favorite landing spot. And we can use the jetpack to get safely across. Like that. Ooh, look at this. There's a there's a tank in the way now. Damn. Uh oh, oh dear. Oh man, can we can we oh this is uh something. Oh man. Can we can we take it out? Oh boy, this is not going well. Okay. Oh, this game, man. I'm telling you. This game is the worst. Okay. Okay. Made it. We're not as dead as I thought we were for a moment there, but yeah. This game can can go from perfectly fine to to death in no time at all. That's really typical of this game. <laughs> all right, there's the guy. You will no longer need the flute, Twinson. On the other hand, it might allow me to realize an old dream of mine. I'll trade you for this guitar that I found in the middle of a meteor. A guitar found in a meteor. Oh man, this just keeps getting cooler and cooler. All right, so are you giving it? Maybe I should activate the flute? Yeah. Another cutscene? And now flowers are growing in the desert. The yeah. wise man gave you the space guitar. <laughs> the space guitar. This is really cool, isn't it? I don't really understand why we couldn't do this earlier. And also why we couldn't play the flute ourselves here, but... Yeah. Does the horse have anything to say? Let's ask the horse. Good day, horse. Hello, witch. You are the one who freed that gnome with a hideous hat. He asked me if there was a princess that needed freeing in the neighborhood. But if you want my opinion, he doesn't have what it takes to be a hero. <laughs> All right, horse, horse opinions. Okay. Um, yeah, space guitar. It was found in the middle of an asteroid. Oh, now it's an asteroid. That landed in the White Leaf Desert. It brought new harmonics to Twinson. That's awesome. Okay, so yeah. I guess we should now just go back. Oh god. There's that tank again. This area is proving to be more trouble every time we visit. Can we get out of here? Oh, this is awful. This is the this was a terrible mistake. <gasps> Can we go? Uh, but now the machine gun is firing. Yeah. Ah, uh, but it's spread out, so maybe. Maybe we're good. As long as we're not in the line of fire, I think we're okay. Oh my god. Amazing. 
Amazing game. Okay. So... What if we go up here? Try it from here? Okay, now we made it. I hope... Where do you want to go? I hope we never have to visit this area again. <laughs> okay, so to head to back... The mountains. We can now go back to the mountains. From there, cross over onto Tippet Island and then give them the guitar, which should allow us access to the guy's basement, where, well, I mean, it would make sense if he has a dino fly down there, wouldn't it? That's what they said before, that we need a dino fly, and, you know, it, it is on the box and in, in the cutscenes for a reason, so... I mean, it's definitely in the game, and we're sort of nearing the end as well, so I think now is a good time to introduce it, because, yeah. When else? When else is it going to make its appearance if it's not now? Oh, wow, that was close. Because if we just touch water, we're, we're dead immediately. So that was more dangerous than it looked. <laughs> There's the guy with the machine gun up there again, but we can just run past him. Right. So now we're outside the subway station again. Uh, and there's a guard out. I bet he has a key. Yeah. He totally has a key. So that opened the fence. And... All right. It is a bit of a cowardly tactic, this throwing from a distance, but... I feel that's the way to play this game, is the most, yeah, the most successful way to play the game is, is to be a coward. That's really <laughs> what the game asks of you. <laughs> because if you engage in, in a direct confrontation, well, that's, that's just not going to end well. All right, so now we're once again in the mutant factory. And I think we can run past, oh, well, not like that. Yeah, I think we can just run in here where the buggy was. Oh, there's a mutant coming for us, but. Where do you want to go? To the Rabbi Bunny village. Exactly. It is a bit of a hassle to... Yeah. There could have been a more direct route between the Northern and the Southern Hemisphere. I guess it's a it's a plot point that there isn't... Oh, we're actually a little bit low on lives. We can get another one from this guy, can't we? Let's do that. Good day. Good day. Does a happy little dance for us. There we go. Perfect. Okay, now we're up here again. It's our 
Is our boat up here? That would be helpful if it is. Yeah, it is. So we don't have to go through the through the fort again. Where do you want to go? To Tippet Island. Yep. To Funky Town. Which is a sewer. <laughs> you wouldn't say Funky Town is a sewer. I guess it's because these people oppose Fun Frog, so they have to sort of hide from him, maybe? I don't know. It is a bit weird that the whole island is only in the sewer. But we'll we'll take it. Um let's see. Where over here? Yeah, it's through here. Now, okay, those terrible guys are back. That's a bit of a shame, but I guess we'll just take them out again. There we go. It's actually not so bad because we get 20 coins and, and three lives out of it, so... Back to the Twinson Cafe. Uh, yeah. Hand him the space guitar, right? Wow! I must be hallucinating! Look! He found the space guitar! And he knows about the space guitar. Uh, I, I think I should move from the stage. That's it. Let's see what the bar guy says. Good day. It's much better. Go on in. But be careful. There are still a few giant cranes. Thanks again. All right. Right. So, more sewers. LBA. Funky Town Sewer Service. Dino Fly Street. Dino Fly Street. Oh, what's that blob? Uh, doesn't look good. I guess... Uh, oh, there's another mutant down there. Okay. Right. So, I think this is where the hint comes in where they said we could stand on the crabs. So, yeah, let's let's try to do that. Grab some loot while we're at it. Oh, there he is. Can we jump on him? Oh, yeah, we can. Already riding the mutant. Not getting off here, but we are getting off here. Perfect. Okay. Uh, can't we climb this? I think we should be able to climb it. 
Funky Town Sewer Service. Dino Fly Street. Yeah, let's just... Come on, come on, Twinson, you can do it. Yeah, there he goes. Mm -hmm. Oh, more mutants. go perfect uh. okay Can't go through there. So, I mean, going down that hole seems the most obvious thing to do. So, I guess we'll just do that. All right. Was, was that a puzzle? I mean, <laughs> that's barely a puzzle. So now we have the key. I bet that opens. Yeah, that opens the thing. All right. For some weird reason, I really remember this pile. Like from playing it as a kid. I don't know why this pile made such an impression. Maybe because there's not a lot like it elsewhere in the game, but yeah. It's just a pile, I don't know. Hmm. There we go. Perfect. There are a lot of snakes here. I think we're just gonna make a run for it. All these snakes, I don't like all these snakes. Too many snakes. Too many snakes. Yeah, definitely too many snakes. Hey! This is the first time that we're actually um, on the surface level of Tippet Island. So far we've only been down in the sewers. Hey, and look at this. There we go! This is the Dynafly, isn't it? So, yeah. Good day. <laughs> Good day. Good day. Let's see, you can talk to me, and you're wearing the medallion of Sendo. You must be the heir. I've been waiting for you for centuries, and I've got a backache. So we go carefully. The Hamalegi Mountains are too high for me. But I can lead you through this entire hemisphere, except for Polar Island. It's too well guarded by Fun Frog. Where do you want to go? Okay. So, we can still go to Brundle, Brundle Island, where we could go before as well. But we can now also go to Fortress Island. Or back to the Hamalai Mountains. Um, and since we don't I really have a way in... Well, I guess we could check Brundle it out. Island. I guess we could check it out and just see what it's about. But I don't think we have any way to... Because they said the, the teleportation center there, it requires something. Like, you have, you have to act to be one of them or something. Are these clouds or are these like these these dots on the water don't look look particularly good good to me? Okay, he takes us for a spin. Yeah, I don't know what's up with these with these pixels on the on the water. Uh, 
Look at us fly though, I mean, that's cool. There are a lot of modes of transportation in this game. I mean, we got our own catamaran, we've got the Dynafly, all the different boats and buggies and things. Okay. Welcome to Brundle Island. Yeah. Okay. What is cool is that we can hop onto our hovercraft here, which is kind of interesting since we've not we've not visited this place before. But it still spawns the hovercraft there. This used to really weird me out as a kid. Because I was trying to track where all my vehicles are, you know? But it, you don't have to. They just spawn wherever you need them. Okay. Let me see some identification, please. Yeah. Well, I'm not showing them our own ID card because, you know, we're a wanted criminal and everything. So... I'm pretty sure that... The idea is to obtain someone else's ID card, and then you can enter this facility. So, for now, there's not a lot we can do here. To Fortress Island. Let's go to Fortress Island instead. This uh, <laughs> this Dinofly doesn't look exactly like he does in the cutscenes, does he? <laughs> I do like his tail, though. All right, on to Fortress Island. Good day. I know that symbol on your medallion. Virgil, our sorcerer, told us about your coming. Our and sorcerer, huh? We have often prayed in front of the runic stone, which carries the same symbol. Unfortunately, Dr. Funfrock found it and built his fortress right over it. Although the rock was supposed to be indestructible. I would dig a tunnel for you so that you could enter the building. Hmm. But you must first sabotage the teleportation center. Go find the plans of this center. I can dig only after all the telepods have been neutralized. All right. Okay, sabotaging the teleportation center. I'm looking for the plans of the teleportation center. I don't know where they are, but with these plans... You must enter the center on Brundle Island, and then sabotage it. Then I can dig under the fortress. Right. So now we have a new objective, which is to find these plans. I mean, before he was just saying, good day. Um, well, at, at the beginning of the game, every time he had like a goal in mind, you know, looking for his wife or looking for the treasure or whatever. But now... We haven't really had that for a while, but now now we, we have a quest again. I'm looking for the plans of the teleportation center. I don't know where they are. Ask your flying animal over there. In fact, can you eat that animal? Don't don't dare. Don't try that. Don't eat my dinofly. Or Dino fly as he calls them. Hey, come on. I'm looking for the plans of the teleportation center. Yeah. I don't know where they are. Hmm, thanks, Dinofly. Where do you want to go, Twinson? Okay. So, we should go... Tippet Island. Back to Tippet Island. Although, actually... Now that I'm thinking about it... I guess the Dinofly would drop us off back where we got him like outside yeah that's actually no good 
Yeah, that's not good. Because we need to enter the sewers again. Um, remember that one clone that had it had had his helmet off? He uh, said he was selling information. So I'm looking for the plans for the teleportation center. I yeah. Where do you want to go, Twinson? So that's that's the guy we should ask. But getting into the sewers from here, I'm not sure if that's a good idea. Bundle Island. Because if we go down in the sewers here, then we have to go through all the sections with the monsters again, don't we? And I don't fancy that. So if we go over to Brundle Island instead, then we can just hop onto our hovercraft there. And we can use that to enter the sewers. And then we land right next to next to the clone guy. Where do you want to go? To Tippet Island. Yeah. Did you see the, um, the fuel icon in the top left? That to indicate that this these these voyages are costing us fuel. So we do have to be a little bit careful, although we re replenished our supply. I think we should be good for now. But yeah, these these rides are not free. The the ones with the catamaran and the dinofly are. But we still have 10 fuel, so that's that's fine. Uh, here's the guy selling information. So, yeah, actually, tell us about the plans. I'm looking for the plans for the teleportation center. Uh, I was the watchman on the construction site of the teleportation center. So for 50 catches, I can tell you exactly where those plans are. Hmm, 50 caches. I don't think we have that. Sold! The plans for this center are in Honkrok's oh. personal thing. Actually, we do. It is headquarters on Principal Island. But to get in, you must be able to defeat the Super Gross. The nurses equipped with tablet launchers. Alright. So, Funfrock's headquarters on Principal Island. Wow, we exactly... <laughs> We had exactly 50 caches, so we're back to, to zero. Um, but that's fine. So, let's see. Uh, no. Yeah, Dr. Funfrock's headquarters on Principal Island. That's the second island that we visited. Um, yeah. I guess... We'll just break into that now. That's kind of exciting. More backtracking, but yeah, still pretty exciting. Where do you want to go? So, the Hamalai Mountains. Back to the mountains, and then back to the southern hemisphere, back to Principal Island. And then let's see if we can break into this facility and steal the plants. I think you're pretty good at this game, but then <laughs> it puts you in your place. <laughs> um, we are at full life, so we can do the life trick again. So now we're at full bars again. I'm looking for the plans for the teleportation center. I don't know what that could be all about. Does he have a Scottish accent all of a sudden? Maybe he had that before, I don't know. Okay, full lives, full health, full everything. Just no money. <laughs> so 
so... Okay, that's three more lives. Which we didn't really need, but then... Well, you can't complain about more lives, can you? It's kind of sneaky that they made this the way back. Maybe there are other ways, I don't know, but... This route really doesn't seem too obvious. So... Ah, uh, man. <sighs> so many mines. It's another evil thing to make the, the way back so... Well, not just difficult, but also just unclear where things are. Okay, back to the rebel guy. So now we can hop onto our you want to go? hop onto our boat and sail to, to Principal, Principal Island. Island. Where I think we'll just um, we'll be at Port Beluga again. That seems to be the the drop off point for the boat there. But from there, it's not too far back to uh, to the headquarters. The, the headquarters is the same building where the, um, the Rebby Bunny was captured, where we like, where the trenches are. So there's these trenches um, in front of it. And uh, yeah, it's also a prison, I suppose. But if things go well, we're actually entering it now. So, I mean, that's sort of a, a flex, isn't it? I mean... We started out as a mere prisoner, and now we're breaking into Von Frock's uh, headquarters, so... That seems like a real power move, if you ask me. This is a thing I haven't really pointed out yet, but if you walk across the flowers, they say ouch. Just another, yeah, a fun detail and also, yeah, like, uh, it has a different sound effect for every uh, type of floor and, yeah, this is just one of them. Where do you want to go? Uh, to the military camp. It's kind of weird they put so much effort into these footstep noises. Although it does add something, I think, so... Right, back to this place. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Uh, still, still managed to get me. Oh no. Okay, we're... Yeah, you can't be sloppy with this game. Okay. Now, actually, before we go into the headquarters, there's one more thing that we haven't really looked into, I think. Which is over here. Yeah. They mentioned earlier, I think in part one or part two, that one, at one point someone told us that um, there are these symbols and they put Von Frock's face up, like on top of it. Uh, so I think if we blow our horn, we break open the symbol. So something should happen here. I think. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a cool little secret area. Look at this. Okay. I could have used this earlier. <laughs> oh man, remember when we were scraping for cash? Well. LBA. Oldberg Sewer Service. Emerald Moon Street. Well, 
there was 150 caches laying here all the time. Which we don't need anymore. I don't think we need any money from this point on, but... Yeah, we could have used it earlier. That could have made the playthrough a lot more smooth, but ah well. All right, now on to Fun Frog's headquarters, which is right down here. Yeah, this is it. Okay. Uh, immediately opening fire as we take one step in the direction of the entrance. There we go. This is going well so far. Maybe I shouldn't jinx it. <laughs> Okay. Okay. More, more machine gun fire. I think we can outrun it though. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, look at that. There's another guy down there. Another prisoner. Huh. Let's talk. Let's go talk to him. Oh, there is a, a guard there. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, God. There we go. I'm looking for the plans of the teleportation center. I'm on special assignment. Hmm. Never heard anything about it. Well, this is worth it. I was arrested for sneezing in public. <laughs> it's ridiculous. <laughs> There's also, however, a forger in the cell to the right of General Headquarters. Hmm, yeah. We have actually spoken to him already. Because that was the red card fraud guy. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, now we have the red car to open this door, so that's good. And oh, there are multiple. Okay. What are they doing? Oh. Are they? Oh, they're only triggered if we enter this area. That's weird. So, we can make them run off. <laughs> okay. It would be helpful if I aimed a little better, though. There we go. Uh, they have a lot of hit points. No, 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 no. Oh. Maybe walk them, let them, let them walk off a little further. Yeah. Such a weird, a weird technique this is. Yeah, okay, he's dead. We have to watch out though. Yeah, we're still sort of good, but yeah. This is a lot harder than it looks. Well, maybe it does look pretty hard, I don't know. Because you have to... There's no chance to, to tweak your aim. Which is normally the way to do this. Oh, that's a mistake. He's too close. There we go. Now we got him. Phew. 
Okay. All right. This is interesting because this is one of those super grobos they mentioned earlier. And when they were called in earlier, they launched one of those... Yeah, what are they? The, the white drone things. And that meant instant death, but now they don't, and we can just kill them with our ball. Okay, we got the key. Uh. It did play the sound effect, right? But it didn't trigger the animation. Huh. Okay. This is a bug, I suppose? Hmm. Is there something else we need to do, maybe? Maybe clear out all these cards? Maybe this door needs to be open as well. I don't know. Honestly, this seems like a bug. Which is kind of bad because, well, it would be a shame if our playthrough ended here. Oh, oh dear. Open, please open. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. Very good. Oh, now the clone starts firing. Okay, there's a lot of firing going on now. I think we can get a shot in though. Yeah. All right. So now we've opened this door as well. Does that make a difference? Yes, it does. Really weird. But the cute news is that we're in. Oh, he's running. That's, yeah, that's dangerous. <gasps> he was running for one of those alarms. Didn't even see that. We got really lucky with that second shot. <laughs> okay. Wow, we're in Funtrock's headquarters. I mean, that seems really cool. Oh no, he's he's firing at us. These guys didn't fire before. Okay. There we go. This is a lot better. Yeah, this is a lot better. Okay. 
Hey! This is the bunny from before. <laughs> I just discovered a secret passage by using the action command. Incredible! <laughs> Do you like my red car otherwise? Yeah, it's, it's great. I'm looking for the plans of the teleportation center. I'm on special assignment. Sorry, but I really don't know anything about it. Hmm. <laughs> I just... Yeah, yeah, you just said that. Um... So, he discovered a special passage, which I, which I think is the... Like the lightning bolt door up there. So, it seems there's an exit from his cell this whole time. <laughs> So, yeah, we can use that later. But for now, we're we're looking for these plants. They should be somewhere in this place. Okay, another clone. Come on. I like to throw balls in uh, athletic mode. You can you can throw balls in any of these modes. And it doesn't really make a whole lot of difference, except for in discrete mode, you lob them up high. So you can throw over fences and stuff. Um, but if you're in athletic mode, then you can make slight changes to the angle really easily, which is a lot harder to do in the other modes because it just takes a long time for him to rotate in the other modes. Okay, what's this? Oh. Is that fun frog? I think it is. Huh. Wow, look at this. He's ugly. Okay. <laughs> What's happening? Should we do something? Open the door? Yeah, okay. What's happening? <laughs> He's not taking any damage. <laughs> He's out of here. This was really weird. Okay. So it seems we had our first encounter with Funfrog. That's cool. And we're now at the elephant guy, which we talked to earlier. It's kind of you to help me, but I managed to steal the guard's key. Take it. I don't need it anymore. Awesome. Thanks. I'm looking for the plans of the teleportation center. I'm on special assignment. Never heard anything about it. Hmm. Okay. So, yeah, the only thing that's here is this safe. Oh. So, I guess... Ah, uh, and the key opens the safe. You've just stolen Dr. Funfrock's saber. Oh, nice. Okay. My dear and respected Dr. Funfrock, I took the plans of the teleportation center home with me to work on them over the weekend. I will bring them back on Monday. Signed, Mies van der Rue, Architect, Bug Street, Citadel Island. Architect, huh? Citadel Island. So, I suppose that is our neighbor. I mean, didn't the neighbor say his son is an architect? Uh, also, that name is actually a Dutch name. It's Mies van der Rue. But, yeah, Mies van der Rue, <laughs> I guess, works too. All right. So, okay. So the architect took the plans home over the weekend, which I guess means we have to go back to Citadel Island and visit our neighbor. So, yeah. We can do that. Let's use the, ex the exit pointed out by this Rebuani. I'm, I'm not exactly sure why he took this long to escape, but okay. 
Um, the way back is up here. Because now we need to go to Port Beluga again. Which is through here. Can we kill him from here? Maybe. Yeah, we can. <laughs> so now we're over at the military camp. It is a lot of backtracking, but the way I kind of deal with it is just to run past things. Because, yeah, I don't feel it's worth it to take out everything all the time. Because everything Where respawns to anyway. To Port Beluga. And also taking out enemies can take a lot of magic. Um, which you don't always win back, so... It's not even necessarily worth it. All right. Where do you want to go? To... to Citadel Island. Citadel Island, indeed. So, I've been trying to make these videos around 90 minutes in length, which we've crossed now. So, I think what I'll do is I'll end the video here, but I'll keep playing. And then I'll just release the rest of my playthrough uh, as the next and, and final episode in this series. So, yeah, I hope you'll join me for the next one. And that's it for this part. Bye.